Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back again with another video and today is not a movie reaction. It's going to be the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit tier list, as I'm sure you've seen by the title. And so I'm basically going to be putting the films in order, all the characters from both of the series, just like I did with Harry Potter after I finished watching that on this channel. If you are new around here and you haven't even seen my Lord of the Rings video, what are you doing and go watch them right now. And I had a lot of comments on my Harry Potter tier list talking about my impressions. And yes, don't worry, relax, you're going to get some impressions, okay? Not every character, but definitely some man flesh and maybe a few others, okay? If you do enjoy this video, guys, be sure to smash that like button, like Gandalf on the bridge to the Balrog, smash, like that. And be sure to follow me on Instagram for updates on future videos and behind the scenes. And now let's get straight into this tier list. Okay, I feel like I have to say this now, but everything I say now is my opinion, okay? If I put a film somewhere that you don't agree with, relax, okay? It's just my opinion, all right? I didn't grow up with these films like you may have done, okay? And don't... Because <laughs> everyone gets so angry on these tier lists sometimes. And it's like, it's a personal list, all right? It wouldn't be very fun if everyone had the same thing. We'll start with the first film, Fellowship of the Ring, and it's got to go in S tier, okay? This was the introductory film to Lord of the Rings, and I fell in love straight away. Okay, you can go back in the reaction... You can see the moment in my eyes I fall in love with the series. Okay, there are many moments. One of them, Nazgul with the sword and the pillows. Amazing, I think I died. It had the Balrog in it for the first time, which is enough reason for S tier. That's going to be one of the coolest creatures in any fantasy thing I've ever seen in my life. And for the time it came out, the CGI was nuts. Absolutely nuts, okay? If you went back 50 years, you showed someone a video of that, they would think, you actually went to the mines and saw it. Right, now to put two towers in. Now, God, it's so hard because, honestly, I want to put... I really do want to put all of the Lord of the Rings film in S tier. That'd be so boring to see. Why can't I put them all in S tier? Oh, God. Because now I'm remembering... Like, two towers is Helm's Deep. I'm not going to say that's the worst one, but it's just not as good as Return of the King, is it? But it doesn't mean it's bad. Oh, okay, whatever, right. Oh, this hurts. Can I not put them all in S tier? Right, okay, no, I'm not doing it. I'm, I want to put them all in S tier. I'm sticking to my guns. By no means does that mean it's a bad film. Helm's Deep was bloody amazing, okay? <laughs> then you saw that Uruk with that big bomb just stage dive into the walls and it went pfft, like that. And also uh, with the when the rain started and he... And so it begins. That shivers. I just felt shivers right then. I'm sure maybe you guys felt shivers as well when you think back to that moment. But God, if I saw that in the cinema, oh my God. That, would, that would be insane, okay. And um, it had the best opening with Gandalf fighting the Balrog, which gave me so many shivers. It was amazing. Might have been the best film opening I've seen on this channel. Because I thought Gandalf was just done for, to be honest. I hadn't seen the poster. Um, yeah, I'm an idiot. And, and he just comes out, fighting the Balrog. Basically died. And, God, it was just so good. But I just hate putting it worse than anything else. But I'm not putting them not all in the same tier. Because that's just boring, really. Which leaves us to Return of the King. And again, I've got to put it in S. And I just hate the fact that I can't put them all there and I have to choose between these three. It's like someone coming up to you, you've got three children, and he says, choose one to shoot. This is what this feels like, okay? <laughs> like, it literally feels like I don't want to hurt Lord of the Rings' feelings by putting them in order. Return of the King has to come first, right? I mean, it was four hours plus. It had some insane, that huge siege at the end. Well, not right at the end, but, you know, the middle of the film. With the Witch King and just the green ghosts everywhere. God, it was just nuts, okay? And it's, again, it's so hard to choose between the three of these films because Fellowship, honestly, is amazing. And it's just the fact that it's bringing all these new characters in, like, so well. But Return of the King just finishes it off so nicely, you know? Actually has a good ending. So that was extremely painful to choose from. And now, <laughs> I can move on to the a bit easier to choose from, the Hobbit films, okay? I'm going to put this in A, the first Hobbit film. Doesn't mean it's on par with the Two Towers, okay? Actually, no, you know what? Okay, we're not going above here. 
because that would be an insult to Lord of the Rings. We'll put the first Hobbit film in B because but I did really like it. It's just I can't put it there next to Two Towers, can I? No, I can't. The first Hobbit film obviously had the scene with Gollum in it, which was amazing. The acting was outstanding by Andy Serkis as usual. That was definitely one of the highlights of the film. And that's when we first get introduced to all the dwarfs and everyone will know my love for Bomba, of course. So with that, we can move on to the second film. And oh, yeah, it's probably just B as well, you know, because because even though throughout the middle of that film, it felt very dragged out, to be honest, especially the extended. But Smaug, Benedict, makes up for that when he's covered in gold, flying out of the cave. And he says, boom, you know, that was just crazy, right? That did make up for how long I had to wait. And the amazing cliffhanger, okay, it was good. I can imagine your frustration if you had to wait a year to watch the second film. But for me, I can just click and find the next film. So wasn't suffering as much as you. Now for the last film, The Battle of Five Armies. Again, it hurts me to even choose between these films, but I've probably got to put it in C. To be honest, it's not because it's terrible, it's just the fact that it's not as good as the other two. Again, the same thing with Lord of the Rings. I'm not saying it's bad, I've just got to kind of order these films. And yeah, it just wasn't as memorable as the other two films. The first one was just introductory and Gollum. The second one had Smile, which is super memorable. And the third one, there's no one moment that I can think of that I'll go, oh, I associate it with that film. It just felt like the whole film was that huge battle at the end. There wasn't one moment that was particularly great. Had a few character deaths, which is fine. You're not too attached to characters, to be honest. Maybe that's just me. That just about does it for the films. Don't know how much more I can really say about this stuff. But to be honest, I'm just super excited to move on to the characters because <laughs> um, that'll make it a little bit more fun. Okay, so here we are on the character tier list, and oh my god, there's so many. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. God, look. All right, I really hope this isn't missing out any characters. Okay. This is from, yeah, both Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Like you've got the giants there and Bomber and... Okay. All right, this, is, this might be very hard to choose, okay? But first things first, just like I did in my other Harry Potter video, I've got to rename the tiers here, okay? Okay, I've got to do it. All right, top is man flesh, all right? <laughs> Anyone who's seen my um, movie reactions to Lord of the Rings will know why that's called man flesh, all right? I was debating that between man flesh and Balrog, um, but I'm just going to go man flesh. For the AT, I'm going to rename that to Second Breakfast, okay? I found that scene hilarious. The third one I'm going to call Melon, is that how you say it? Melon, Melon which means friend, I'm sure, in the Lord of the Rings language. For the C tier, I've got to put it as potatoes. How's that? Right. And then for D, I'm going to put as full of a took. Okay. And F can be stupid fat hobbitses. There we go. I think those are some good titles. Okay. And right, let's get into it. Right, so we're starting with Pippin. Oh God, he, he's not man flesh, but he's got to go second breakfast. Second breakfast, yeah. He's got to go there. Um, <laughs> he's just so funny. And he goes with the name of the row anyway. Him and Merry are just the perfect duo for Middle Earth, honestly. And yeah, I just love him really. Now we've got old Bilbo. Old Bilbo, eh, I mean, we don't really see him that much. He can go in Melon, he can go there. He did give Frodo the uh, mithril. And who the hell is this? Oh, I know this one. This is the, um, he's in the bar when Frodo goes first, right? That's where he meets Aragorn. See, there's Lord of the Rings knowledge here. The memory. He definitely go, yeah, he was definitely there. But he's garbage. You can go and potatoes, okay? This is Sam's wife, right? I mean, just pretty basic, I guess. Potatoes, yeah, go on. So now we're with Arwen. Again, probably Melon. You know, she's just like one of those characters, right? Can't compete in Second Breakfast at all. And for these like smaller characters, I can't spend too long because there's literally a hundred characters here. If I do a minute per, this will be a hundred minute video, okay? Which some of you may want, but I don't want to edit that. Okay, I actually don't remember this guy's name, uh, but 
Yeah, for because I don't remember his name, he can't be too good, right? Potatoes. And please don't kill me if I forget any of these guys' names, okay? There's a lot of characters. Now we've got Elrond, who is absolutely amazing. And he's got to go second breakfast, 100%. Especially because he was in The Hobbit as well, fighting all those spirits of Saruman. Oh, God, that was so good. Who the hell, who the hell is this? <laughs> is that a joke? Is that a fake character? Because I don't remember that. Stupid fat hobbits is well. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Okay, seriously. Now I've got Galadriel, and honestly, oh, she could be competing for man flesh. Honestly, yeah, you know what? She's got to go man flesh because of how hard she destroyed that giant Uruk in the Hobbit. If you remember that scene, and she was just like, mm, and the guy just disappeared. Okay, for that man flesh, and she's amazing. Okay. This guy, again, God, I'm so sorry. I don't know his name. But I know he led the elves at Helm's Deep and then died, right? So, Melon, yes? Frodo, of course, come on. Definitely stupid fat man flesh. Okay, come on. Always going to be in the top tier, Frodo. Such a good character. Okay, we all love him. And he made it to Mordor in the end with Sam. Enough said. Who the hell is this guy? Again, I, am I going to say who the hell is this for so many characters now? Is this one of the guys who was with Faramir when they captured them, maybe? With the elephants? Again, potatoes, pretty basic guy. <laughs> Sorry, this face of this character is just making me laugh. Right, now we've got a tomato-eating here. Um, <laughs> okay, that's what I'm going to call him. And yeah, he's going there, 100%. No argument needed. Trying to burn Faramir alive. Yeah, that's enough. Fig wit. <laughs> okay, I just googled what that guy's name is. Fig wit. Like, what the hell type of name is that? Anyway, sorry, going off course. Right, Aemir, he's pretty good. I don't think he's gonna go second breakfast though, even though he's very good. He can go high end of Melon, okay? And I, I'm gonna really cringe if I'm saying Melon wrong this whole time, so I'm sorry. Moving on to Eowyn, she's pretty good again. Probably just near the high end of Melon, you know? Not a major character, but she did. Oh, actually, no, 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 wait. She did take down the Witch King. Okay, second breakfast. Right, I almost forgot about that somehow. When he was like, no man can kill me. And she went, <laughs> and then just, yeah. Second breakfast, 100%. Faramir, he's got to go second breakfast as well. He's really great. And yeah, enough said, really. Boromir's brother, enough said. I have no idea who this fatty is. Um, I know where I remember him from, though. Didn't he get attacked by wargs, right? Or he was with them when they got attacked by wargs. Something like that. Uh, yeah, potatoes again. Go on, just average. But this guy, the king of the dead. Very sick indeed. Uh, no, not man. F I'm debating man flesh just because of how cool he looks. But... Oh, he's cool. He's, oh, people are gonna hate me if I, oh God. Um, <laughs> honestly, like, nah, 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 nah. Second breakfast, okay. I don't wanna take it away. We don't wanna be putting everyone into man flesh because it'll mean, it means less, okay. But he is awesome. Leading the army of the dead, amazing. Genuinely have no idea who this is. God, what is wrong with me? Um, right, stupid fan, no, 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 okay. Full of a toot. He hasn't got as annoying as a face as Figwit and the name. God, if there's a lower tier than that, he'd be there. This is the guy that got stabbed by um, One Eye, right? Nick Fury. So, yeah, because you're terrible, mate. You can, you can go in full of a toque. King Theoden, definitely second breakfast. He's amazing. The speech, leaving them out of Helm's Deep on the horses. And he was in Titanic. Moving on to Aragorn. God, it's not even a question. You know where he's going. You know he's going top end of man flesh, okay? Because he is just... He's just Aragorn. Do I really have to explain why he's there? No, I don't. No idea who this pretty boy is. But... Potatoes, because he looks alright. This is Treebeard, right? Yeah. He can definitely go in... Second breakfast? Yeah, 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 yeah. For the scream he did when he saw the trees gone... That was amazing. That was like in the fields, you know. So he can stay in second breakfast. Gollum has to go in man flesh. 100%. In my opinion, the best acting out of 
all of the actors in the series. One of my favourite Gollum scenes has to be the one when Sam and Frodo are cooking. <laughs> and he comes over and he's like, What you doing, stupid fat hobbits? That was just amazing. Okay. And when he's like, give it to us raw. <laughs> just watching that background editing, I was waiting myself. Absolutely amazing. No question about it, man flesh. And this is one of the uh, orcs that starts the fight. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, he takes the ring off of Frodo, right? Uh, in Return of the King, yeah. Uh, potatoes, because I do like my orcs, to be honest. They do look really cool. Can't remember a line he said. I won't be doing an impression. But an orc I do know the line of is Mr. One-Eye, okay? Um, honestly, second breakfast, because he's, a, I hate him, but he's amazing. And when he's like, the age of men is over. That one, you guys saw, I did the impression in the video, if you want, if you, want you can go back. Um, <laughs> but you know, he's just such an iconic orc. I mean, he's so memorable, right? And I feel like if they're memorable, they gotta be good. God, I'm actually spending so long on each character, this is ridiculous. Right, let's move on to this guy. Prima Wormtongue, the absolute scum of Middle-earth, can 100% join Tomato Boy, okay? Absolute slime. He did kill Saruman, but he's a slime. And this orc, oh, this one's great. Uh, I remember the scene, is it Two Towers? I think it might have been Two Towers. Yeah, he uh, definitely is going in Merlon, because he's a bit funnier than that orc. And it was, <laughs> he's like, what about their legs? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't say they look fresh, does he? I can't remember the line, but he's just amazing. And Lurtz. You guys love Lurtz so much. But I do too. Second breakfast. Looks awesome. There, done. Mouth of Sauron. Again, he's got to go second breakfast as well, because he... Look how, like... It's a memorable character. It's so the similar with the One-Eyed Orc. Like, you just remember these characters, you know? You might not remember necessarily a line... I mean, they do have iconic lines as well, but, you know, there's so many other characters that look pretty similar to other people, and they just stand out, you know? You actually might be able to recognize them if you saw a silhouette of them. I have no idea why the ring's a character here, but... <laughs> uh, you can go man flesh. Okay, you're the, you're the ring, you're the whole story. And to be fair, it did withstand an attack from Gimli. And now Mr. One Does Not Simply, perfect picture for... Uh, Boromir here. He was really good, to be honest. He was really good. Second breakfast, definitely. Saruman, amazing acting. Honestly, he might be worthy of man flesh, I think. It's close. It is close, but he's really good. Sauron. Now, oh, you guys know I love Sauron, okay? I'm going to put him a bit further up. Just because of his armor. He's so cool. You go back to the first uh, reaction I did, the first film. Soon as they mention Sauron and he comes with the hand and the picture like that and you see the ring. Goosebumps everywhere, tingling everywhere on my body. Not an area left, not tingling. So for that reason, Sauron's in man flesh. I don't know why the eye is a character again, just like the ring. Uh, I'll put it in man flesh again, you know what, it's just because it's kind of irrelevant, not really a character, is it? Maybe it is, who knows. I have no idea who this orc is, and for that reason, this is a stupid fat hobbit. Not memorable. Not as memorable as this one here. Oh god, this one. Honestly. Second breakfast. Honestly, I've got to put them both. Actually, no, 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 no. Man flesh goes in man flesh. But these two, absolutely hilarious orcs. And the conversation of <laughs> just, what about them? They look fresh. <laughs> that, was, that was an awful impression. But, oh, uh, it was just a uh, hilarious scene, right? And obviously, what some of you know me for, <laughs> this orc here, <laughs> man flesh, absolutely funny, killed me, iconic, god, I'm just, I'm speaking more about the orcs than the other characters, and I don't care to be honest, I just love my orcs. Witch King now, again, man flesh, man, I love the villains, honestly, just how they look, okay, I mean, if you need an impression, it's, I will break him, it's a pretty easy impression, okay, nothing special. Uh, but yeah, amazing character. This poor guy got killed by um, Schmeagle, man, just for the ring. God. Uh, potatoes, I guess, because you couldn't kill him in a fight, sorry. This guy, standard knight, I have no idea who it is. Go there. I need to speed these up through some long video. This guy, no idea. Again, you can go there. Mary can join Pippin. 
in second breakfast. Best duo. I already spoke about them basically before. What's this guy's name? Is it? Oh, it's Isildur, right? Yeah. Uh, he couldn't throw it in the fire. So he's a fool of a took. Okay. And oh my god, look at this. Balrog. Oh, yes. Honestly. I'm, I'm, oh, I can't put him there, man. It near end top of man flesh. He's not actually ordered yet. But just for now, top of man flesh, man. Balrog. Oh, God. He is just orgasmic, okay? I mean, a bit of a terrible description, but um, you get the point. Yeah, I love him. Bilbo. Yeah, I mean, come on. Where else is he going to go but man flesh, right? He's top tier. And we have now Mr. Thorin. Thorin's got to go man flesh as well. Come on. He actually turned out to be a really good character. The acting was very good too. Balin's a very good character. He can go in second breakfast. Pretty funny. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Second breakfast. I was going to put him a bit lower, but nah, he's got to go there. You'll have to forgive me for not knowing the name of this one, okay? There are so many dwarves in this film. Probably just Melon as well. I got to bang through so many dwarves. That's what he said. Um, this guy was hilarious. Yeah, he's got to definitely be second breakfast, okay? Both of us very funny, especially in the scene when he's waving the dwarves to go out and talk to that guy who turned into the bear. He's just like, go, go. Bomber, 100% man flesh, okay? Don't shoot me, but I just found him absolutely hilarious. Especially in the barrel, spinning barrel of death. Honestly, I don't, I'm so sorry, I don't know the names of these dwarves. They're just going in Melon. This one, he is in second breakfast. I don't know his name. I'm honestly so sorry. Wait, what the hell is Sam still? What the? Oh, I'm such an... Okay, well, Sam somehow made his way into the Hobbit. He took a step so far from home, he ended up in the Hobbit cast. It'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. Um, but obviously Sam's in man flesh. What the hell? I'm so sorry how I didn't even think that. I didn't talk about him already. But yeah, Sam... Again, ugh, you can't have Frodo without Sam. You can't have Sam without Frodo. Philly's a really good character. He's definitely got to go in second breakfast. And this dwarf, oh, I have no idea again. I'm so sorry, Melon. Killy, got to join Philly in second breakfast. This one again, I don't know the name, man. I don't. God, just go in Melon, you bloody dwarf. Why is there another dwarf? Oh, no, 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 he's funny. This one has the earpiece. <laughs> yeah, he can go in uh, second breakfast. This one as well could go in second breakfast when he went... Anyone got any chips? That killed me in the reaction. Is this fit? Is this what's his face? What is? Who is this guy? Am I like an idiot for not knowing who his character is? Is that the same person? Okay, I'm a complete idiot. It's not the same person. But you know what? They can both go in that tier. Okay. Moving on to three hilarious characters. They all have to go in second breakfast. Okay. They sound exactly like the bald old men in my local pub. So they have to go there. Gandalf, 100% man flesh, okay? Top end, okay? These aren't ordered again, but he, oh, absolutely amazing. But this is Gandalf the Grey, right? Yeah, okay, we'll do the white as well because they are technically two separate characters, aren't they? I do prefer the first one a little bit because he's kind of a bit more funny, right? Maybe I'm wrong here, but I feel like here he's just like this like pure like being to save them. And here he's just like Gandalf, he's kind of half funny, you know, messing about, smoking his pipe. Maybe he still smokes his pipe as, as the white version. Uh, but they're both just as good as each other, obviously. Radagast. I did really like Radagast, actually. Second breakfast, especially because I'm named after one of the hedgehogs. Randuil, I hope I'm saying that right. He is very good. He can go in top end, second breakfast, around here somewhere. Um, his sword skills, second to none. Well... I'm sure someone could beat him, but he's very good, okay? Toriel, she was good. I mean, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of her. And it would be a bit of an insult if I put her in second breakfast. Maybe you guys feel different, but put her in Melon. Just around the middle is fine. Bard now, and for me, I think he probably has to be second breakfast, right? Because he did kill Smaug, okay? With like a makeshift crossbow of his son's shoulder. So yeah, he has to be second breakfast. Now, bloody Alfred. I mean, you know where he's going, right? Straight in, stupid fat hobbit. That monobrow is a crime. And <laughs> when he's feeding Stephen Fry bollocks, sir. Hilarious, but disgusting. This is the bear man, right? Yeah, bear man. 
He's pretty cool, but yeah, just Melon again. Like, the bear's really cool. You know, like, his normal character's nothing, like, amazing, right? Bard's son, he can just go in Melon, you know, he's alright, he's whatever. Genuinely have no idea who this is, he can be in Potatoes. Stephen Fry, oh, he's so disgusting. The makeup was so good when he's eating those testicles. Oh, God. Terrible. Just getting Stephen Fry Hobbits, man. I love you, but, oh, disgusting. I genuinely have no idea who this is, either. Potatoes, I guess? Honestly, who's this? Are these like some of the kids that they went in the house? Like Bard's kids or something? Like his wife, I don't, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Potatoes. Who's this? I don't know who this is. God, are these all Hobbit ones? I hope so. Smaug, now we're getting on some big, God, I have to scroll now. To even... There's so many characters. Right, Smaug can go in man flesh, okay. Uh, yeah, no question again. I mean, it's Smaug, dude. Literally, some of the best voice acting. Very close to Gollum. I mean, these, again, he's not older than at the end, but he's so good, so so good. Moving on to the, I imagine he's probably called the King of the Iron Foot or something. Uh, honestly, probably just like high end Melon, because I really did like some of the lines he had. Um, when he's like, I got a wee proposition, but the CGI, come on, is it really needed on a character like this? A bit too obvious the CGI, so that's why it's there. This was the king before Thorin Thror, I think. He can, again, just like Melon, you know, we don't really know much about him. This guy here, right, apparently he's only in the extended version, and to be honest, I'm gonna put him full of a two, just because when he died and we heard the Wilhelm scream, <laughs> completely ruined okay honestly ruined the tension and i've even watched the scene again on the standard edition and he's not even there when gandalf's like fighting sauron you know he's not even in the scene so clearly it's not that important now the beast azog yeah probably just like second breakfast i definitely wouldn't come close to man flesh but you know he looks cool enough not super memorable but he's one of the highlights of The Hobbit, I guess. You know, the white, pale orc, sorry, the pale orc and his wolf. So he can go there. I'll put Bolg, honestly, in potatoes because I felt that guy took way too long to die. A lot of scenes felt pretty dragged out because he was just surviving in Legolas. Uh, so yeah, he can go potatoes. Honestly, I have no idea who the hell this is. Some orc from The Hobbit, probably. So full of a took, you could go there. Gimli, yes, 100% man flesh. Okay, he is so funny. Him and his little legs running around Middle Earth trying to catch up with the Rangers. Uh, you know, <laughs> enough said, really. He's just so funny. Is this guy the Goblin King, right? The go <laughs> uh, he was pretty funny, actually. Quite memorable when I think about it. So, second breakfast, when he got his uh, stomach sliced open, you know? Especially when they came in and he went, Spies? Thieves? You know, to all the uh, dwarves invading Goblin Town. This guy is actually so iconic. God, he's got to go second breakfast. I remember I even put him in the reaction. Just the weirdest little creature. Just, eh, weird. But he's iconic and memorable, so there we go. <laughs> this one. Oh, it's so bad how I actually know the line that he said as well. Second breakfast, because he's like, Yes, you're malevolence, didn't he? Or something like that. Something malevolence. But like... He's memorable, you know, I remembered who it was, so second breakfast. This guy, however, honestly, ugh, pretty boring. This all potatoes, you know. Yeah, just not as memorable as these type of hobbit orcs, you know. No idea in hell who that is. I have never seen that face, I don't think, ever, so potatoes. Now moving on to the cave troll. God, that was awesome. The first film. And Boromir says, I have a cave troll. So he has to be man flesh because it's just so cool. Like they couldn't take him down for so long, you know, and he just single handedly almost killed Frodo, basically, you know, and would have killed them all if they weren't just, you know, so strong. Gandalf's horse is a character for some reason. Uh, you can go Melon, okay. And oh, a fell beast is this. Yes. Second breakfast for a fell beast because the first time I saw a Nazgul on one of those. Yes, just amazing. Come to think of it, why is there no Nazgul's here? It's just a Witch King. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay, well, if uh, if there was a Nazgul on this list, to be honest, it would go Man Flesh. All right. 
So, I mean, technically that is like a Nazgul, isn't it? A Witch King. But like, yeah, okay. I wish it had like standard ones with the hoods. This has got to be the big spider Return of the King, right? Yeah, second breakfast, pretty cool villain, I guess, you know. It was like so sneaky on Frodo and uh, genuinely made me like jump uh, when I first saw it in Return of the King. So second breakfast for that. And last, but definitely not least, Legolas. That's some alliteration for you. Definitely man flesh. Him and Gimli, always counting kills, okay? And he had the coolest kills, or some of the coolest kills in both of the series. Just the elephant kill, sliding on the shield, cutting that, oh, in the Hobbit, you remember when he's like upside down? Double dagger, and then he's like cutting the heads off every orc. So that's all the characters, I'm gonna order them now very quickly. Okay, so I just rearranged some of the top tiers now. Again, this isn't really final, it's just so brief of like the order because to be honest, the top row here are basically on the same level, okay? But these are like slightly better, you know? Aragorn, amazing, Sam. I know you guys love Sam so much, and I do too, but I know you guys like prefer him to Frodo like a lot, you know? You're like, he carried the whole thing, you know? You're so passionate about Sam, and I love it actually. But yeah, the rest of them, you know, they're all the same tier, really. It's just a brief order. Uh, the bottom ones, you know, they're not even really characters apart from some of the bottom ones that we hate. Uh, I didn't know a few of them. A lot of them are just animals and one-off characters, but I think that's most of the characters. None, nothing comes to mind when I try and think of a character that's not on this list, but do leave a comment if this list is missing someone. So that has wrapped up the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit tier list. Both the movies and characters done. I do hope my opinions aren't too outrageous, okay? Even if they are, relax. It's just a film, okay? Opinions are opinions, all right? Uh, please let me know in the comments what your tier list would be, especially for the movies, a bit more simpler. Feel free to write out all the characters I just did in your order, if you would like to. Um, <laughs> I probably won't read everyone, it's a long list. Uh, I have no idea how long this video will be. I know the recording has been very long. I'm sure the video will be nice and long for you, if that's what you like. Be sure to smash that like button, guys, if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe for more content, and you can always check out my channel for other movie reactions that I'm doing. If you're into Marvel, currently I'm watching the whole entire Marvel franchise. Be sure to tell me what your tier list is in the comments, and I will see you on the next one.